Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to turn a digitally taken photo to look like as if it was taken from a film camera. Now a lot of people love the um, film look to photos, the old and vintage look, and um, that's, that is what I'll be showing you guys today. So you want to open up Photoshop. Now you could do this in Lightroom as well, but I prefer using Photoshop. Um, you want to load up your image. Now there's different types of film, there's 35mm, there's 120 there's 70 there's bl also black I believe, and there's um there's many different ways to achieve this effect, there's probably simpler ways than what I'm about to show you, but um, I'm just going to show you guys how I like to do it. So with your um, layer selected, you want to go to layer, new adjustment layer, then brightness and contrast, go OK. Then what you want to do is, uh, you want to set your contrast way up high then you want to set your brightness a little bit higher now go back and select your main layer go back to layer new adjustment layer and then levels select OK and then you want to move this middle cursor a bit higher the blackness and then you want to go back and select your main layer again adjustment layer then go to curves now we're going to be um, filling with the curves and go OK and you want to grab this bottom um, square right here and move it up about three quarters of the way of the first um, first square and then you want to select your main layer again then go to layer new adjustment layer then curves again and go OK now you want to change this from RGB to let's say for this image we're going to go blue and you want to create two points so we're going to create one right here and then another one right here now we want to move this one down to get more greenness um, in the photo so around there then we want to move this point up to get more bluish in the scene and then you want to click on your main, um, main layer again then go to image, this is the last one we'll be adding then go to new adjustment layer then add hue and saturation go OK now you can fiddle around with these um, these values all these, um, it, it differs from the image so there's no exact number to get the um, perfect look it's all about fiddling around and see what suits you so I'm just going to move this down a bit and that looks nice now we have to rearrange all these layers so you know, take the brightness and contrast and set it above the main layer and get the levels and set it above the hue and saturation so it goes brightness, hue and saturation, levels, curves 2 and curves 1 and uh, we're nearly there so far it has a nice look to it you know, go back to your main layer then go to filter, blur and then we're going to give it a bit of motion blur. You don't have to do this, but I just prefer doing it. You don't want to give it too much, so it looks weird. Maybe a value of 2 or 3. Um, I'm just going to go 2, maybe. You go OK. And uh, then you want to go back to your filter, and we're going to give it some um, noise. So you want to go to Distort. Uh, I'm sorry, Noise. And then go Add Noise. It, it gives us that um, it gives us that grain effect that um, that you can see in film photos. So maybe a value of ten is a bit too much. Probably give it nine or something. Then make sure it's on Gaussian. So yeah, it's definitely too much. Probably give it seven or six. Six looks nice. And you want to press OK. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty nice. Now you can add a film leak, which I believe happens when you open the back of a film camera. You don't have to do this, but it'll it'll, it'll give it a not more uh, more of a filmy look, and um, I, I like the look to it. So you want to have your main layer selected as always. Go to layer, new fill layer, and then go gradient. Go OK, and you want to click on this um, top bar right here and select this blue, red and yellow one. Now if you cannot see this one, click on this um, settings icon right here and go reset gradients and press OK then you should definitely be able to see it. Now you want to click on this blue um, bar right here 
and click on the color and turn it all the way down to black. Then you want to click on this yellow one right here, click on the color, and turn it to more of a orangey kind of a look. Not that orange, but a mild orange. And then go OK. Then press OK right here. Then with that gradient selected, you want to go to, you want to turn it into a screen. So click on this normal right here. So right now it's set to normal. Select screen. And uh, that's going everywhere, so you want to um, you want to change with the settings. So you want to double click it again, and maybe rotate it around, maybe reverse it so that looks nice. Maybe hundred is too much. I'll turn it down a little bit. Double click on the gradient again, and maybe move the black value a bit this way. Maybe yellow is too much as well, so or maybe move the reddish this way. And black value this way as well. Now it's all like I said, it's all filling around till you get the look that you want. So, and also when um, when you double click the gradient, you're able to move it around with your cursor. So I'm just gonna leave it like maybe like that. Maybe rotate it a little bit more. And uh, yeah, that's looking nice. So I'll give the image a save. So yeah, that's what the unedited version looks like, and uh, this is what we got with our um, with our effect. Now it's a bit too much. Maybe the grain was a um, bit over done, but it's all fiddling around, fiddling around until you get the look that you like. Um, hopefully, you guys found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. I'll get to you as soon as I can. And uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.